everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to make goals in Blackboard outcomes assessments so you're going to start by logging into Blackboard and then you're going to look in the far right hand corner and click on the outcomes assessment tab once inside this tab, you'll see a screen that looks something like this one. By default, you're able to see all the existing goals and assessments, but to create a new goal, you're going to have to click on this button right here on the right that says View Goals. On the View Goals page, you're going to see a bunch of different goal sets. I'm going to click on the sample goal so this is where we're going to add the goals for our sample set so basically what a goal set is is the um, big picture that all the goals are going to fall under so if you look at mine right here you'll notice I have one for the College of Arts and Sciences and the College of Business once you click on your goal set you're going to select this button right here and I know it's kind of grayed out that says add goal. After clicking on add goal you'll have this pop-up box and you're going to fill in the different fields right here. So for the goal ID you're going to start by choosing a name that follows the name conventions of the university. So a, an example would be for the College of Arts and Sciences you would do CAS for College of Arts and Sciences then you do 15 for the year 2015 and then name it whatever you need to name it such as writing or any other topic that you're covering this you can talk to the department head or whoever is running these assessments for you to come up with a standardized naming assessment the unique ID is the identifier that will be specific for this goal and it will be generated by the system if it is left empty so a good idea would be to give it a name such as writing for a writing goal reading lab once again talk to the department head or whoever is working with these assessments to come up with a appropriate ID the text is what the goal is looking for so in this sample goal here my goal is going to be and the goal type is how the goal is going to be classified so for a writing goal you would have a writing goal type once again go talk to whoever is actually running these and you can come up with appropriate goal types since this one's a sample I'm going to write sample when that's all said and done I'm going to click submit and you'll see that my goal is now here. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more like this one be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.